Chris Parsons from the Happy Healthy Marriage Reset. Today, I want to talk about, actually, I'll start with a question. Do you want your husband or your wife to be your best friend? And what's the difference between a friend and a lover, right? And so, I don't want my wife to be my best friend. I used to want that. I used to think, I remember specifically early on, we had been married less than a year. And I remember trying to teach her how to throw a football because she's terrible at it. She can't throw a football for hardly anything. And that was something that I loved doing with my friends. We love to go outside and throw the football, right? If we go to the beach together, we're on the beach throwing the football. My 10 year old son loved to throw the football or frisbee, whatever, but, um, so, uh, I remember trying to get my wife and I'm like, this is like what I do with my friends is throw the football. This is what friends do. We have things in common and things that we enjoy doing together. And I want to have that with you. And my wife was like, but I don't like throwing the football. And I'm like, well, you know, so what? Do it for me. And that was, when I started to realize that getting your spouse to do something they don't want to do doesn't give you what you want. Because throwing a football with somebody that does not want to be there throwing a football with you is not fun. It's the same thing with intimacy, right? Being intimate with somebody that doesn't want to be intimate with you, no fun at all. Not enjoyable for either person, right? Even though I'm throwing the football, it's, it's, it's not throwing the football. I hope you're following me. I can't be too graphic. YouTube or, you know, podcasts will punish me. But um, so, you know, I was trying and thinking that I wanted to be best friends with my, my wife. And one of the things I remembered was when I was in college, I was a huge college football team, uh, college football fan. And the where I went to college, they won the national championship my freshman year and my senior year, I think. Um, and so, you know, I was huge into the sport. And I was telling uh, my good friend's wife that I would love to meet a girl that I could, you know, would date or whatever that I could talk football with. And she was like, well, you need to meet my friend. She loves talking football. And... Um, so, you know, met her friend before a game one time. We were just talking, right? Like, we never dated or anything, but but we talked football, and she really knew what she was talking about. In fact, she is a sportscaster now, right? She does commentary for football games. She knew her stuff, and she could really talk football. And I did not enjoy it at all. I was like, I don't think I would want to date some, a girl that wants to talk football, because it's, there's just a different dynamic between men and women, right? I love talking football with men because we know how to be uh, aggressive with each other in a friendly way where it's competitive and it's, it's fun to kind of go at each other and argue about things. And I did not like arguing with this girl about football at all. I hated it. Because as soon as she was like trying to disagree and then I responded the way that I would respond to a guy, it was like, oh, her feelings are hurt. Like, uh, well, it, this isn't fun. And so, you know, having friends is about having things in common, shared interest, right? My best friend, been friends for 25, 30 something years. Um, we love talking college football. We love talking business. We love, you know, uh, going out to uh, watch a game or do something fun that we both enjoy throwing the football at the beach, right? Like those are the things that we enjoy doing together because we're friends. I don't enjoy doing those things with my wife. My wife is not my best friend. Now, my wife is my favorite person in the world, but she's not my best friend because she is my lover, right? That's a weird word. We don't use that word a lot now. I feel weird just saying it, but she is. She's my lover, not my best friend. And here's the difference. 
I do things with her that I don't do with my friends. If you know what I'm saying, do you catch my drift on this? There is a totally different dynamic to being lovers than there is to being best friends. When you're best friends, you have things in common, you enjoy spending time together and doing those things. When you're lovers, you are attracted and desire each other. You don't need things in common, right? Now, you need to have some common values if you're sharing life and doing life together, but it doesn't have to be common interest. The, the, I was talking to my wife the other day. We were talking about, um, oh, my, my six-year-old daughter said, Dad, what do you and Mom have in common? My wife and I were both in the car, and I was like, uh, I don't know. We both have brown hair. She's like, no, I mean, besides that, I'm like, we both have four kids. She's like, no, besides that. And I'm like, I don't know. And I, I looked at my wife. I'm like, Carrie, I, what do we have in common? I don't know. And she was like, we like some of the same movies. I'm like, yeah, some of them. We like some of the same music, some of it. But overall, like, we don't have, you know, if you look at our playlist of music, maybe not even 20%, like maybe 10 to 15% overlap of songs we both like. And then there's a bunch of music we individually like that the other doesn't like. Same thing with movies, right? Like, yeah, there's some movies we both really enjoy, but there's a whole bunch of movies that the other one doesn't enjoy. Last night I was watching The Matrix. Love that movie. My wife hates it. So I was watching it without her. We don't need to have that in common. It doesn't matter because there's desire, there's attraction. We both feel heard. We both love each other's company without that. And that's what separates lovers from best friends. So why do so many people say and think that they want their spouse to be their best friend? Well, it's because that's what they want to settle for. That's what they think, well, as long as we were just best friends, then we would be happy and we could stay together. Most people, right, a lot of those spouses, they're not willing to settle for that because the truth is it rarely works because human beings were designed, this is my opinion, but I believe humans were designed for love and connection and intimacy with someone else, right? Now, are some people okay without having that? Uh, uh, yeah, I guess so, right? I mean, <clears throat> there's lots of people that are single and feel fulfilled in their life. But um, you don't get married thinking that that's what you're settling for, right? Nobody gets married because they just want their best friend to live with them. Like, that's what roommates are. Right. If I wanted to be, you know, ha live with my best friend, I would have a roommate. I wouldn't marry them. And so what people convince themselves of is if we were best friends, then we wouldn't have all these problems. But you would, because just because you're best friends does not mean that you don't have to know how to handle conflict, that you don't know how, have, how to have to know how to enforce healthy boundaries, communicate your feelings. Right? You still need those skills in order to get through life together. Um, and they're skills that are not that important with your best friend because you're not doing life with your best friend, right? If my best friend and I have totally different views on how to manage money and what, it, who cares? Like, that's his money, this is my money. Doesn't matter that we don't have any, you know, a, agreement there about how to do this. If you don't have agreement with your spouse, that's going to be a problem, right? And so you're going to have to have the skills of connection to get on the same team to solve those problems together. So don't settle for your spouse being your best friend. Turn them into a lover instead.